Hello everyone, this is Jorge Perez from the Technology Committee of the West New York School District with a tutorial about a disciplinary report I created for Memorial High School using Google Forms. From this picture, you may remember the green slip uh, we used in the past. I personally sometimes didn't have enough time to uh, between periods or after school to go to the disciplinarian's office to drop the slip or didn't want to interrupt my class to call the office because I didn't want students to hear me. In the last couple of years, we have the possibility of elaborating an email with a report, but this may take some time too. I decided to make a Google Forms version so we could report any disciplinary issues faster and without needing to type too much. On this video, I will show you the two sides of this report. First, the teacher's view and then how administrators can see the report and the automatic report distribution per grade that I made thanks to some Google Sheets formulas and a Google script that I added that will allow them to have a better organization. This is the teacher's view, a Google Forms with the basic information from the student like the initials and student ID. Be aware that the forms will not submit if the complete five-digit ID number is not entered. A multiple choice question for the grade, date of the incident with a calendar box for a quick date selection, a drop-down menu for the period in which the incident happened. Notice that it includes homeroom and after school as well. And a very important field, the incidents. What happened? I did some research of the most common disciplinary reasons in this and other high schools and made a drop-down menu with a list of these disciplinary issues. There's no need to type anything here unless the issue is not listed, but you will also have the option to click on other issues and you can describe them below. As you can see, these are the most common reasons for a disciplinary report nowadays, especially interrupting instructional time, uniform violation, no ID using inappropriate language, etc. The principal suggests to include violation of acceptable use policy, AUP, of the internet and devices, especially on these times of remote learning. Next, the location of the incident, like the room number or specific common area. And finally, an optional field for any additional comments you may want to add. As you can see, this form should not take too long to fill in. There is no need to put your name, as in all internal Google Forms, your email address is recorded when you submit the form. This is not new. Very important, every time a report is made, the teacher will immediately receive an email with a copy of the report for his or her own records. On the administrator's side, as with all Google Forms, this will generate a Google Sheets with all the responses. But everyone knows how messy this report could turn after using it for a while. Especially that we have four grades in the school and there will be multiple assistant principals and disciplinarians handling this report. Here you have the columns with all the responses from the form. But you can see here that this tab is locked. If anyone with access makes any changes in this tab, it will affect the other tabs that I created. That is why it is locked until I transfer the ownership to the principal or to the administrators that he decides should manage this form. I created a tab per grade and added a Google Sheets query formula that depending on the student's grade, it will transfer the report to its corresponding grade. The disciplinarian of 9th grade does not have to go through the whole master tab looking for 9th graders. Same thing with the other administrators. The 10th grade disciplinarian will only see his students listed here and it can look for any record faster. Let me show you how it looks. This is the tab for 9th graders only and this is the tab for 10th graders. So the administrators don't need to go through the whole report looking for their students. The header rows are frozen so you will always know which column you're working on. From here, you can determine which periods are the ones with more reports and maybe develop a strategy to address the issues at this time of the day, etc. As you are all aware, every new response goes to the bottom of the tab, making it difficult to scroll down every time we want to see the new responses, especially when the Google Form has been used for a while. Google Sheets has a sort function that can organize the data by date, but unfortunately, the Google Sheets that Google Forms creates does not allow this function to work. I had to add a Google script so every time a teacher submits a report, the Google Sheets will sort by date automatically, so the administrators will always see the latest disciplinary reports first. Well, that's all for now. If you have any suggestions, please email the principal, Mr. Guerrero. Thank you very much.